Once samples from hunter harvested deer are analyzed and any diseased deer identified, the next stage of IDNR's chronic wasting disease management is to determine where efforts to remove additional deer should be focused. In an office at Rock Cut State Park near Rockford in northern Illinois, IDNR biologists prepare to take samples from deer taken by sharpshooters that evening. Sharpshooters are used to remove deer from areas where the disease has been found. Reducing deer densities in these specific areas has been shown to help suppress prevalence rates. In Illinois, these methods have kept those rates low, to about 1% of deer tested. At this time, there is no cure for chronic wasting disease. It is the goal of IDNR's management efforts to contain the disease as much as possible and keep it from moving to other parts of the state. This is a difficult challenge because deer can move great distances. From the maps of CWD occurrences documented each year, we can see how the disease has moved from concentrated hot spots in northern Illinois to sparks that move out over the landscape, particularly along river and stream corridors. Like the spark from a campfire, a burning ember, or infected deer in this case, can travel some distance before starting a new fire or spreading disease to other animals in a new place. At the close of Illinois' regular deer hunting seasons, qualified sharpshooters remove additional deer from these areas with the permission of the landowner. Sharpshooting is limited to a buffer zone within a two-mile radius of known locations where CWD-positive deer have been found. So hunter harvest in the state of Illinois is very valuable in the disease management program as surveillance. So hunters are able to cover a wide geographic area and shoot a large number of deer. And then those animals can be tested and we can determine uh, where the positive animals are located. So that is very, very valuable. Um, unfortunately, it's very difficult on a practical level to concentrate hunter harvest into those localized areas where the positive deer are found. So at that point, using the hunter harvest as sort of a locator detector indicator method, you can then send in the culling efforts to take out deer in a very specific area. So that's why the sharpshooters can use the hunter harvest data to find those locations and then go in and reduce deer density in just those specific areas where chronic wasting disease has been found. Uh, my name is Kenneth Delahunt. I'm a district wildlife biologist. Um, I'm based out of Macanda, Illinois, uh, out of Giant City State Park. A couple weeks out of the year, usually about six weeks out of the year, I get temporarily assigned to come up here and assist with the CWD program. Um, I do it happily just because uh, I know this is a very important program. Managing this disease is very crucial to uh, helping our deer herd. Um, although I don't like being away from my family, <laughs> I have a six month old at home. Um, I know this is important. This is my job, you know, to manage wildlife and maintain this natural resource for future generations. In part four, we will talk with scientists studying CWD and suggest ways hunters who live in areas where CWD has been found can safely handle their deer.